the New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern has distanced herself from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle after the filming of the pair's new Netflix docuseries, which features the leader. Ardern's office issued a statement today about her appearance in the show and insists that she was unaware that the couple were involved. Netflix released a trailer for the seven-part documentary series called Live to Lead, which is about celebrating inspirational leaders and is presented by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The docuseries, available via the streaming service on December 31, was made by a production company based in New Zealand called Blackwell and & Ruth and is in association with Meghan and Harry's production company, Archewell. It is also in collaboration with the Nelson Mandela Foundation and was inspired by the late South African leader. M. Zardern, who is running a country where the king is head of state, featured in the trailer yesterday. The statement said, in early March 2019 the Prime Minister was approached by the Mandela Foundation to participate in a project to develop accessible resources on key attributes of leadership targeted at aspiring young leaders around the world, based off a one-hour interview. Originally we were advised the outputs would be printed and digital books, short films and audio books. The interview was conducted on November 8, 2019. In March 2020 a short book entitled Jacinda Ardern, I Know This To Be True, was published based on the interview. Other participants who also had their contributions published based on their interviews included the late U.S. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the feminist activist Gloria Steinem, the climate campaigner Greta Thunberg and the American basketball player Stephen Curry. In March 2021 the Nelson Mandela Foundation advised the Prime Minister's office they had secured an agreement with Netflix to broadcast the series of interviews, including the 2019 interview with the Prime Minister. In May this year the Prime Minister's office was notified that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex would introduce the series, noting this was nearly two and a half years after the interview had been recorded and permission for its use by the Mandela Foundation had already been provided. All communication throughout has been with the Foundation, there has been no communications with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex regarding the project. More follows.